Welcome to another Autodesk Inventor tutorial. In today's video, I will be going over fillets and the different types of fillets and what their uses are. So let's get started. First, let's just simply make a box. Honestly, right now, it doesn't really matter its size or anything like that. Okay, great. So the first fillet is just a constant radius fillet. Now, if you don't know what a fillet is, it is essentially just rounding off an edge. That's what it is. It's a rounded edge. And you would want this so if you're designing a part and you don't want it to be sharp, you don't want it to cut somebody or anything like that, you make it nice and round so it's not a sharp part. It helps with ergonomics. It doesn't create a it will help prevent, you know, pressure points on somebody's wrist or whatever wherever they may come in contact with it. It just, you know, helps make it a nicer softer part to, to, to use. So that being said, the first fillet is the basic fillet, just a constant radius. So in, in Autodesk Inventor, after you click on the fillet button, you will get, of course, the fillet window, and there's a few different options that you can go through. The first one is basically just a basic constant uh, fillet where you can click on an edge and depending on how big you want the radius to be um, you type that in so you can see that's for this part it's, it's a decent sized fillet now I selected an edge and you can select multiple edges at a time just like this but if you don't want to do that individually, say you have a really crazy shaped object that has 30 different edges around this one side, well, there is an easy way to do that. And I'm just going to cancel all of these. Basically, where it says Select Mode, you can click the Loop button and then click on one of these edges. And depending on you know what side of the edge you're on, it will choose the other four sides or this side four sides because it's a rectangle so if I want that top to be filleted all, all the way around you just click on that one click and it does the whole thing now the other way to do it I'm going to oops, I want to cancel these if it will let me the other thing you can do is do the feature uh, select and what that will do is basically just make the whole thing round make a fillet around the entire thing so you don't have to click on what is this 12, 12 edges um, to make the fillet so you know you have that look it almost looks like a pen case or something like that I don't know um, so that's the basic constant fillet or constant radius fillet. Now to make a expanding on this, let's go make another box over here. Okay, that's great. Now the other option is doing a face fillet. And what that will do is basically, it's just a, ma a, a different way of selecting it. So instead of clicking on an edge, like say you wanted you know, the edge between this face and this face, instead of clicking on this edge, which you know sometimes you might be a little bit inaccurate or anything like that, uh, you basically just click on one face and then you click on the next face and then it at first we'll sort of maximize that radius but of course you can make this smaller if you want just like that and there you go the next fillet to do uh, is a full round fillet and that basically you will choose three faces say you want this to be perfectly smooth basically like a a round bar or cyl cylinder or something on this edge Instead of doing 
you know, a fillet here and a fillet here, and then trying to get them to be the right size. But if you go over, you know, it's it's gonna make it sort of a weird shape like that. You see, it's not it's not even on on both sides. So one way to do that is well, cancel this, unselect those edges, and do the full round fillet. And basically you're just going to select the three sides you want to do. So the top, the middle, and the bottom, and then that will automatically make the perfectly round, symmetrical on both sides, fillet. Hit apply, and there you go. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, now there's some more fillets that we can do. Let's create another box. Okay. Oops. Go back and hit the fillet button. And now we're going to do what's called a variable fillet, which is basically variable radius. And what this will allow you to do is have, like it makes it, like it sounds, a fillet change depending on the position on its edge. So if you want it to be start out at a small fillet and then gradually grow to a large fillet, you can do that here. So basically, when you, cl you click on the variable tab and you select an edge. Great. And as you can see over here, there's a start point and an end point. The radius right now is both 40 and the position is 0 and 1. These positions are is a relative position and basically just means from the beginning to the end. Okay, so if we want it to start out at, with no fillet at all and then gradually go to a bigger fillet, put a radius of zero at, at one, and you can see how this rose to a bigger fillet, just like that. So that could be useful. Another way, another thing that you can do, which is pretty cool, is add more positions along this. So say you wanted to make a grip for your hand or, or on something. You have four fingers, you wanna create a bunch of different positions um, for this. I believe that should be good. Okay, so now we already have position zero and one. So I'm basically just going to make these evenly spaced of one divided by in basically increments of an eighth. Okay, so I'm going to make the start and end radiuses both be zero. And then in the middle, I'm basically going to alternate between having a big radius and then a small radius of, say, five. And then a big radius and then a small radius of five. And a big radius and then a small radius of five. And you can see if I hit okay you can see how that sort of makes little grips places that you know your fingers could could go in um, so that's pretty cool another thing you can do is just make some some crazy design with it Oops. if I can select the right thing would be very helpful I want this line right here. So I'm just going to add a few more points. I'm not going to worry too much about the position right now. But I'm going to start out with, say, two. And then I'm going to go to you know, 50. And then I'll go to three. And then. 
I'm gonna make this a little bit closer, say so, hey, 0.58. I might even add another position. not letting you sometimes you know it should say click to add here but if it isn't what you can do is on this part of it um, over here you can just do click on this arrow and then just do click to add and then you can add some more uh, positions So yeah, so you get sort of the idea. Of you know, you, you can <clears throat> make something kind of interesting with that. Play around with it and, and see what works for you and what you need. Now the last fillet. I make another box for this one. Alright, so the next type of fillet we need to do is what's called a setback. That's what this third tab is. They're called setbacks. And it's not really a type of a fillet, but a modification of other fillets. And basically, what it does is it allows you to choose how to blend other fillets together. So you need to have fillets coming into one single point. So let's select the three ed these three edges right here that come into this one point. And that will be their vertex. So you have these three selected and then you can go to the setbacks tab and choose this vertex. Before, if you tried going to the setbacks tab without any other fillets made or you know in the process of being made and try clicking on something, nothing would have happened. You couldn't click on anything because you have to click on a fillet or you have to click on the vertex of multiple fillets. You can have at least three, uh, I believe it has to be at minimum three uh, fillets going into one vertex. And then you can choose how it blends all in together. So I'm going to select this vertex and it will allow you to choose each line at a time. And sort of you can see right now how it's all blended in about equal distance from each other. But I want to change that. I want to have this one blend in really far back. So I'm going to do edge 2 and I'm going to make this 200 millimeters. And I'm going to make this third one say 150 and 150 and then I'm going to make this one. 95 who knows and then you can see how much of a different blend that is where before that wasn't like that before it's just this little little nub right there but now you have these different more of a gradual uh, curve gradual edge uh, to the to the fillet I can make this even bigger, and you can see how it changes it. If I make this really small, boom. You can see how much of a drastic change that would create. So basically, along this edge right here, this will be more of a point, where on this side up here, it'll be much softer. But if I want to make it soft all around, and a little bit more gradual on the longer edges, uh, you can do that. So I'll just hit OK and you can see. And then I'll go over, just, just so you can compare what a normal fillet will look like. I'll go to this edge. And so basically we went from this where it's just, you know, it's, it's symmetrical edge, symmetrical 
around a corner there to this nice, more flowy, uh, variable edge. And so those are basically the different types of fillets that you can play with. And you can make design you know, choices with them as you saw over here and over here and you know, just basic fillets in other areas. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you thought, nah, you didn't learn too much, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Leave a comment if you liked it or if you thought I could improve in some way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to find out, to see when the next tutorials will come out. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you then.